So we are in Amsterdam right now. I think a lot of you think I actually live in the city, but we live in another city in the Netherlands. I've only been here like a handful of times myself, but the vegan food scene here is incredible and growing, and we want to go check it out a little bit more, but we thought we would bring some people to join us because there's a lot of yummy food to be eaten. So the backup that we have today is Gaz from Avangard Vegan. Thanks for having me back on your yeah, channel. It's lovely. So we've already done a collab video before. If you haven't seen it, I'll link that below. But today, him and his team are going to help us explore all of the amazing things. We're going to try to eat as much as we can here in Amsterdam, all the vegan yes. food. But I thought it was going to be a shame to have a vegan chef with us <laughs> and not like steal a recipe from you. Well, it's funny because usually I'd skip breakfast if we're going to go and eat loads of food in Amsterdam. No, we're not but skipping breakfast. Let's make some nice muffins. These yeah. are from our new cookbook that comes out in April. Mango breakfast muffins. Simple and tasty. Lovely. So show me how to make these muffins. Cool. All right. So first up, we need to make a wet mix. Can you mash together one ripe banana with one and a half cups of soy milk or any non-dairy milk of your choice? And meanwhile, I'm going to chop up half a cup of dried mango as fine as possible. So Gaz, you said something about if your man's not vegan, what do you do? Let that mango. <laughs> So to the wet mix, please can you add two tablespoons of chia seeds and half a cup of vegan margarine, which I've just melted. So sadly, just give that a nice mix up, then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. So for the dry mix of ingredients, I've got one cup of all-purpose flour. You can use gluten-free flour too. I've also got half a cup of blitzed up almonds and a cup full of oats. So I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder and half a cup of coconut sugar. I'm also going to add the mango and then we'll get it into the wet mix. And just fold this in in a figure of eight motion. Here's our lined muffin cases. We need to get a couple of tablespoons of that batter in each one, as neatly as you can. And what's really nice about this mixture is that those, um, the lumps of mango, the oats, it's really, really hearty. I usually have oats for breakfast in the morning, so this is nice to kind of just change it up every once yeah. in a while. It's a lovely grab and go breakfast. So now we're going to pop it in the oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Right? That's right. Yeah, keep an eye on them, but 30 minutes should be fine. 30 minutes in there. That was almost Irish. It was. So the muffins have been in the oven for about 30 minutes. They're lovely and golden and have risen up nicely. So I'm just going to take the muffins out of the cases and drizzle over some maple syrup and sprinkle over some chopped mango. to a restaurant for lunch. It's called Hearth. Haven't been there before myself, but it has really good reviews, so we're gonna check it out. It's cool to be able to sit in a swing when you eat. You're like a kid. Okay, perfect. Right. Can you recommend anything? Uh, well, I always suggest, especially for a big table, to start with sushi. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, okay, we'll start and with the sushi. Two, uh, three rolls and then...
That's a lemony, bro. No, I just That's what I needed. If you guys are in the mood for coffee, I think you're really gonna like the place. It's very, very cozy. I love coffee. I think I'll have a flat white, please. Oh, they have quite a lot of vegan options here too. That's cool. With like, on the same letter. I'm so happy. Oh, the Cortado looks beautiful. Good coffee. It's good, right? It's a plethora. It's a plethora of flavors. Ple plethora of flavors. A plethora. I want to try yours. Beautiful. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Couple dollars. <laughs> Waving. Hands down, my favorite way of getting around in the Netherlands is by bike. But Amsterdam's a different ball game, and I want to see if these UK boys can handle biking around the city. I nearly died twice already. <laughs> Any vegan donuts in this city? Oh, we'll eat here, yeah. I just forgot you're in my new cookbook, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you mentioned it, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh... okay, yeah. Uh, look at that. I don't know if I have a picture of it. Yeah, see in my cookbook. Can I get something to ask? Who says you? Is it Moas or Maus? Maus. Maus. Yeah, thank you. So we've eaten lots already, but we wanted to show you another option. So if you wanted to grab a quick snack or something, there's loads of these Mao's vegan falafel bars everywhere. And the falafel is actually really, really tasty. So Yeah, you can so grab it and take it with you to go if you're just kind of walking around and exploring Amsterdam or chilling inside. Exactly, yeah. You can take whatever you like. Can I have another falafel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the best. Thank you, boss. You're very kind. Thank you. But you do get it all over your top. Oh. It's worth it, though. I don't have this in my beard for about a week. Oh. <laughs> Crispy falafel, beautifully seasoned, loads of different toppings, whichever toppings you want. I liked mine extra spicy, so I put lots of hot sauce on, and it was a taste bud explosion. I loved it. It was great. We're gonna take a little bit of a break from eating uh, for Tom to show off his barber skills. He's a professional barber and Robin is in desperate need of a haircut. to grab hold to the microphone got him not in the lawn maybe she'll save the world for me i think one of the most beautiful things about the netherlands and amsterdam in particular is the uh, the plethora of canals that there are throughout the city so we're going to take the boys on a boat ride to be able to see the city from a different perspective thank you i've been on a boat in years
go. Do you want to do it for you? Go for it. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at the Meatless District. I actually came here one year ago. I thought it was really yummy. You also came once. Yes, two days ago. Yeah, really? Two days but ago. for lunch. The okay. dinner menu is different, so we're going to give this a go now. Let's go. So you've got a reservation? Yes, we are. How does it taste? It's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tommy, let's try this out. Nice big salad. Yeah. Do you like beef? Yeah. You are like that. Okay, so today is Tom's birthday, who's part of Gaz's crew, and yesterday was Alex's birthday, who's part of our crew. And to kind of wrap up the evening, we got them a surprise cake yesterday from a place in Amsterdam, an all vegan pastry shop called Coffee in the Cook. And so we're gonna go surprise them with it now. My heart is made of stone, I know it's not my fault, it's just the way it is, love. My childhood was a boy. Now I get back to now. a lot of stuff today. We're really full. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. It was no, lovely. No, thank you for everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are going to be doing a collab video in a day or so. So check out Gaz's video on having our vegan. I'll link that for you at the end of this video and in the description box. Thanks a lot for watching. Pick up, I'm signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. bye. Do it, okay? <laughs> <laughs>